who's that little bulkhead who's hanging out? Hanging having, out. The, having the time of his life, he is, right? Time of his life, watching some good singles. Watching the stars, he'll you know, remember this forever. Sitting, sitting next to the trophy. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Keeping it warm for you guys. Uh, Couple of short returns, it's gotta be better. So yeah, deep, deep serve, pushes me back. I'm late coming in. You had to add a little more height on the return. Add a little height. Time, but yeah. This usually results in uh, having some options. Not a good outcome. Looks like I break down soon enough. It gets me on the stretch. Has a little floater. Good night. Yep. Why not just go right through him? He's been barking the whole first game. <laughs> All right, shut him up. <laughs> Quiet that shut man Shut him down. up. I'm sick of hearing And then that. he just goes right at you with the next one. Figures yeah. you're leaning one way or yeah. the other. Oh, yeah. But you're starting to see that a little bit more in singles. As yeah. guys are anticipating yeah, yeah, left, sure. right, you know, every now and then straight at you can be extremely effective. No, no. And, and something I've been using, uh, I think a, a lot of people are starting to use against Ben in singles is like when he's dropping, kind of like a Connor Garnett, like when he's, when he's, when he's dropping, uh, just people are looking to be aggressive off the bounce and kind of go through him, yeah. you know, when he, when he comes in. Don't and, let him get to that cat and mouse yeah. stage because he's so confident there. Yeah. Um, but again, I think Ben's doing a good job of, you know, one thing when I'm playing singles, when I'm teaching it, I'm big on, you know, telling people don't try to hit winners, just focus on trying to get your opponents to stretch for the volley. If you can try to stretch them out, but, um, get them to hit a weaker volley, sometimes you will hit a winner by accident, right? But it's going to give you options and allow you to move forward or play the next ball more on your terms. And it seems like that is more the mindset that Ben's approaching some of these points is trying to get you to stretch and then and do his thing after that. Let's see, we're at 7-8 here. Big serve, float to return, play some D. He drives again. Oh, no. All right, so deep return. So, yeah, and, and something I have definitely noticed about my returning is um, if I don't get down enough, I, like, uh, particularly on my, on my backhand slice, if I don't get down enough, then it's a little like I, I if my center of gravity doesn't get down, it's tough to hit this linear, linear looking return. If I'm saying, if I'm too upright, posture thing that makes yeah, it float too, a little bit more. Yeah, if I'm more. too upright, then I, I tend to kind of like float it with my wrist and try to compensate there. Right. So something I've noticed, like on my on my forehand side, I, I can be a bit more upright, and like the hitting zone doesn't have to be as precise. But the hitting zone and my center of gravity and like that linear like driving right. backhand slice really is a lot more effective if you're below the ball. Hmm. So uh, last couple of returns, it looks like I've been kind of floating returns. And I would assume it's his pace on the serve, which is giving me troubles, but also too, just not getting down. Float, he has time. Inside in, uh, another, another example here. I, I float this, I float this, and this is, this is so key in singles. Um, being able to hold, let the defender kind of pick their side. And in singles, when you're passing, know that you have more time than you think. You don't have to rush this ball. Ben, ben does a good job of kind of letting me get recovered, let me get right. you know, back, back to the middle, and then he goes right back behind me. Yeah, I think you were kind of defending against that, that off pace kind of inside out roller Roll. that would bring him in. Right. He took one more step middle and he uh, made, you, made you pay. Okay, hey all. that's when it counts. That's what we came here for. Come on, God, come on. Do something with your life. Okay, eight all, deep serve. And I think I, think I find a forehand. Yeah, you did. I'm like, you know what? I'm sick of floating back as I am. <laughs> I need a little more I offense. am, I'm sick of floating. No, Run around. You can put a lot more on find the forehand. Find a forehand. Return. It still is a little floaty. At least, at least it gets deep. And, I, and, and look here, I'm kind of shading towards the ball. Right. So take a return cross court, shade towards it, almost kind of put your, put your chest on it to a certain degree. Uh, he looks to go cross, gets down. I get that one deep. He, he drops. Able to take his time away, lean in, kind of take the outside edge of the ball. And being able, I think that's a maybe even a more important skill in singles than doubles, is being able to volley um, and take the, the edge of the ball. If the ball is a clock, take that bottom edge yeah. or bottom edge in order to really shape that ball for those for those short angles. And if you can execute, you're gonna you're gonna stay in control. 